right there. Welcome back to Fish It First, the channel where you can trust the product reviews because we're not sponsored by the manufacturers. This is the Reaction Innovations Man Bear Peg, and it is currently one of the best, if not the best, creature bait on the market. Agree? Disagree? Let me know down in the comments section below. We're going to take a closer look at this bait today and ask the question, can this replace every other soft creature bait in your bait locker? Let's get to it. Got him. Right under the... Got him, bite. Got him. Got him. Reaction Innovations is a company that was founded in Alabama in 2002, and you might know them for their jig trailers, the Spicy Beaver and the Sweet Beaver. But in my opinion, their top of the line product, their best bass catching product out there is in fact, the man bear pig. The first thing that you're gonna notice here are these front facing ribs on the body. And the idea behind that is to be displacing more water to increase the chance that you're going to activate that bass's lateral line, make it more likely for you to get a catch. From there coming off of the body, you've got these two little short arm appendages that do not have a lot of movement in the water. You have two relatively long legs, however, and I say relatively, I mean compared to the length of the body. And whatever sort of plastic softeners they're using or type of plastic results in these tails having, or these legs having quite a bit of movement even at slow fall rates within the water. Now from there, a very, very genius bit of engineering that they've included on the Man Bear Pig is this extra little piece of plastic here at the top. Now why that's genius is that it does two things for you. Number one is it gives you a guide for what direction to bring your hook out when you are Texas rigging it. If you bring your hook out through the side where that plastic tab is, you will always Texas rig this creature bait correctly. The reason why you have to do that is because if you hook it the wrong way on the other side, all these appendages will close together when you're pulling it through the water, hook it the correct way, and they will all flare out and get the proper action that they were uh, designed for. The other genius thing that that extra little bit of plastic does there, it provides a little bit more meat to have a decreased risk of a hook tear out there at the top. Genius, genius little bit of engineering there, very helpful. Uh, great job there, Reaction Innovations. Now, we have all had a bag of Zoom Super Flutes, and let's see if I can find one. Here's one. We've all had a bag of Zoom Super Flutes that you pull out and the tail is all deformed because of how it was in the bag or how it was pushed up against other baits. I have gone through so many bags of these man bear pigs and I have never had one come out deformed no matter how it was in the bag, no matter how it was scrunched up, and I have never had one have any kind of improper action. They have all performed flawlessly. They have been perfect. Another great feature of the man bear pig is color versatility. Now Reaction Innovations offers this in 19 different colors. But to simplify it for you, in clear waters, I'm typically using a green pumpkin color. In those darker stained waters, going with the hematoma color. Now when it comes to pricing, the man bear pig is a bit of a premium creature bait. These are $5.39, no, $5.29 for a bag of 10. And if you compare that to the industry standard right now, the Zoom Brush Hog, those are $4.39 for a bag of 10. So you're talking about nine cents more per bait for the Reaction Innovations Man Bear Pig. There are so many different ways to fish a creature bait, but my favorite way with the Man Bear Pig is Texas rigging. And I'm catching most of my fish on the fall on a slack line. Now, if you are punching heavy mats, then yes, you wanna use braid. But for my situation, the way that I use this out in more open water is I am using straight fluorocarbon. And the reason for that is if I'm catching those fish on the fall on a slack line, the most sensitive line on a slack line is fluorocarbon. I'm typically putting a bullet weight unpegged above the hook and I try to get the smallest size bullet weight possible that I can get away with. Reason for that being if that weight comes up against the hook before it's bit, it's less bulk that's in the way to interfere with that hook set um, when I'm setting the hook on that fish. Now, if you wanna make up for a little bit of that lost weight because you're decreasing the size of that 
of that uh, bullet weight, you can use a super line hook from Gamagatsu. So a four odd super line hook is a little bit more stout, has a little bit more weight to it. It can help to get that proper weight so you get the right falling speed to get that best action out of this bait. Typically I'm casting out or pitching out, giving some slack and getting bit on that initial fall. Sometimes the bass will chase this bait all the way to the bottom, be staring at it, and you let it sit there for a couple of seconds, you make that first pop, and that's what gets them active, and it's on that second fall that you end up getting the bite. So the first fall or the second fall right after that first pop off the bottom are the two circumstances where I'm getting the most bites out of the man bear pig. The Reaction Innovations man bear pig is the best creature bait that I have ever used. Now, I am a huge fan of the Zoom brush hogs. I've caught a lot of fish with the Zoom brush hogs, but when I came across this little guy right here, I found that I was getting more bites, I was getting a bigger bite, and in situations where the brush hog wouldn't get me bit, this one would come through. Now, can this replace every creature bait that is in your bait locker? Probably not. You know, some of the creature baits out there have really wild or unique actions that might be great for a specific situation, but this creature bait right here is fantastic. Don't take my word for it though. Take a look at these video clips from a recent trip that I had in central Minnesota where we caught quite a few very nice largemouth on the man bear pig. Serenity. Yeah. That's so sad. It's a really good one. Yep, it's bass. Much more sensitive to the dive and it's got the event. In the boat. Got him. Right under the Might be a snake. Can't tell yet, he's deep. Yeah. Oh, no. On the man bear pig. Alright, do you have any mist on the water? Okay. Oh. No. Come on, you're coming up this time. You are not going to lose. Piece of crap. Surf's up, son. Man bear pig. 